Morning, gang. It's Chris Angel coming at you. Unhappiness, part five. So I was having some reflection this morning, um, as I do. It's called Active Imagination, where I have a conversation with myself, or you could say it's a conversation with God, or you could say it's a conversation with the universe. Uh, love that time. Man, I love it. Truth always seems to come through in that moment. So here's what I got today in this reflection. Um, so if you followed my unhappiness uh, series here, well, this is part five, and um, I keep coming to you uh, live every time something new kind of comes up for me in this happiness journey. So I wanted to share um, what I've been observing and what I noticed this morning. So <clears throat> I need a little context uh, with you so that you can get where I'm going with this. I believe that we as humans are connected to the divine. I believe that we are... Uh, of God, from God, you could use the word universe. I'm not, I'm not attached to the form uh, that you think of it through, um, but I believe that we are spiritual beings. And when we remember who we are, when we remember uh, that we are first and foremost a spiritual being having a minor physical experience in this lifetime, um, per that perspective seems to go a long way in this experience of life on earth, in this lifetime, okay? So that being said, um, what I got today was when, when I live life, let me say this way, life is like uh, a movie, life is like a movie, you are living inside your own movie and when you live that movie, and can observe it and watch it and see how it unfolds with part in partnership in partnership with the divine when you can when you can live this life in partnership with the divine it's as if this is this was the, the the word picture here it's as if you're watching that movie with your partner god with your partner the universe right we god and i are watching my life unfold now, when I can stay in that space, life becomes curious and interesting to me. <clears throat> I've had seasons where that is true. Um, it's also easy for me to lose that perspective and to begin to force and, and uh, get so attached to the things I want that I stop watching the movie of my life and I start being the main character of the life and I'm, I forget to observe it and enjoy it with my partner. But th so this is the thing that was interesting for me this morning was partnership. The idea that I'm in partnership with something bigger than myself, God, the universe, that I've, that I, not just that I'm in partnership with it, but that I am of it, that I am of God, that I am of the universe, that I am a, a splinter of it, that I am the DNA of it. And when I think of it that way, right, almost doesn't matter what comes at me right like what my what what comes into my day the normal things that would cause unhappiness the normal things that would rob my joy those things in a day don't have the same sting anymore inside the conversation of partnership with the universe because i am of the universe what is bigger than the universe what problem could come into my day that is bigger than the universe nothing nothing and it becomes actually interesting sometimes funny the things that would pop up when the universe and I are over here watching what unfolds in my day. It's such a different perspective. And I haven't lived in this perspective for a while. This is why the unhappiness comes here, right? Uh, in my Christian days, I would, you know, we would have called it like, uh, uh, if to quote the Bible, right? Like, I, to abide in, to abide, to remain in, to, to, um, to remain in Christ would be to stay connected to. In fact, they would say, uh, we would say um, uh, uh, sin isn't like doing wrong. Sin is just being outside of that partnership, right? That sin is being outside of that partnership and, and not like this morality thing, but sin is just not being connected, right? I, mean, I don't really like that word because I think it's charged and has a lot of cultural connotations. But, but interesting to think of it that way, right? Like <clears throat> that when I take my eyes off the partnership that I have, Things get wobbly. I get scared. 
I get nervous. I try to force things. I try to manipulate things. I try to get things moving, right? Moving uh, on my own initiative, my own will. Also interesting, uh, going back to my Christian days, like when you say, um, not my will, but your will be done, like all that stuff can get very culturally confusing as well. But in this conversation, in this context, that will, that that not my will as in, me, the, pers- the, 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 the main character of my own story, like when it's that, when I forget that I'm connected and I am a part of the universe, that I am of God, right? And I try to do things on my own uh, power or initiative. Uh, what happens is that I lose the wonder of life unfolding before me. And when you lose the wonder of life unfolding before you, it's very easy to slip into unhappiness, right? It's very easy to slip into unhappiness. So I really think like part of part of the secret to happiness in in the face of all life circumstance, good circumstances, good circumstances and bad circumstances. Look, it's all your life is all a movie. It's all a movie and your life would be really boring. It would be a boring movie if all it was was just good times from the start to the finish, right? Movies don't good movies don't go that way. How much more interesting life is when we look at it from a place of wonder and curiosity as it unfolds before your face, right? In front of your face. And when you get to do it inside a partnership, it's like watching, look, when my wife and I watch a movie and it gets to the scary part of the movie or the conflict in the movie, we don't look at each other and be like, oh, I'm really scared right now. We're actually like, ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen next. So what if you and God sitting on the couch of your life are watching it unfold and you're like, ooh, this popped up today. I wonder what would happen. I wonder what's gonna go on. That for me is a super refreshing perspective on how to handle my life in front of me. Uh, my business partner, uh, partner Ali, sent me this email, forwarded this email to me the other day that said, that was talking about fire and how entrepreneurs are kind of this weird, you know, crazy group of humans where there is constantly fire. And whereas most people would look at a bond, you know, like a bonfire in their life and they'd be like, oh no, like there's fire. Entrepreneurs, if you can, if you can get this perspective, entrepreneurs can look at fire and be like, "Hey, look what we built! Look at this fire, <laughs> right? Look at this fire! Ah, look at that! I made fire." To quote Tom Tank, Tom Hanks, right? I made fire. And I think as entrepreneurs or even as humans, we create fire, and your re, your relationship to that fire is what gives you power or takes your power away. I've just lived enough life lately outside of the fact of realizing I'm the creator of that fire that I haven't been able to appreciate it. I've been afraid of it, scared of it, and it's what's creating some unhappiness, right? But when I look at it and I go, oh, look, that's what I made. And let's see where we can take it. Now there's this collaboration of life and not so much of what life is, what's happening to me in life, but what I'm creating. I think, hap- I think unhappiness comes when you take yourself out of the role of a creator and you become the victim of what's happening to you, right? And for me, I've just spent a lot, I've spent a lot of uh, time going out, trying in my own will, my own initiative, trying to create things outside of partnership with God and the universe. And then when it doesn't go the way I want it to, I feel like things are happening to me because I don't feel like a creator. I'm trying to create, but I can't see the creation because I'm too attached to the outcome. I'm like, this is the outcome I'm trying to produce. It's not happening. And then when that doesn't happen, I feel like there's something happening to me, right? So so this is is what I'm seeing, and we'll wrap this up here, but what I'm seeing then is unhappiness lives. Unhappiness comes outside of connection to God and the universe. When you are connected to your source, when you're connected to who, not even your source as in you're not the source, when you're connected to the source because you are the source, you are now in alignment right? With who you are, with your nature, with your wiring, with your DNA. When you remain in, when you abide in, when you remain in who you are, who you are, 
as a divine person, as, a, as, as the divine, then life is just life. And you get to observe it, watch it like a movie and see what happens. You get to be like, I wonder what's gonna go on. And inside of that, life becomes really curious, right? And less scary. All right, gang. Thanks for letting me share my latest updates on unhappiness. We'll, we'll continue the journey here if more gets revealed. But um, for now, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me. See ya.